Hi everyone, it's Crazy Train here, and it's time for another Crazy Train rant. Today's subject is homework. So you're probably wondering, why is a grown adult ranting about homework? Well, two reasons. One is empathy for my daughter. I've seen her be overwork, overstress. It's really gotten out of hand. Uh, the other is because it's had an effect on her family life. Homework didn't really get totally out of hand until middle school. Up until then, uh, you know, it was an average amount. But then it, it got totally out of hand. It was uh, stressing her out completely. Um, it was affecting her sleep. It was keeping her up ridiculously late. And it really got out of hand. Um, and... Uh, the other thing it affected was our weekends. I don't know about you, but I never, you know, in, in high school and grammar school, be having my weekends being overburdened with homework. Maybe I had to study, maybe I had an assignment or two. I'm talking about like five, seven hours of homework on an average weekend. Uh, sometimes maybe even more. Um, so that really cut into our family life. Um, and the other thing is summer assignments. Um, they're a good idea. You know, it's good to keep the kids, um, doing some academics in this summer. So I understand the reason for it. But first thing is I never had any summer assignments until high school. Um, yeah, my mom encouraged us to read. We participated in like this reading club at the library if you read so many books, you got to go to a party at the end of the summer. Um, so, you know, that's good. Uh, but now they're given summer reading lists while they're still in grammar school. Uh, they're given math packets. In some cases, they're given, you know, history work and other things. Um, and then by the time they're in high school, they've got like four books to read. They have projects for them. Then they have math packets. Then they may, if they're in, God forbid, there are any honor or history pack classes, there's packets for them. Um, so they have, you know, overwhelming amount of work. Kids need a break too. Summer, give them a little reading to keep them up, you know. Math, maybe that's okay. But the kids need a break. They need a break on the weekends. They need a break in the summer. So they really need to cut back on this. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't blame the teachers. I'm sure it's being pushed on them. It's probably coming from administration. Um, and I think also, you know, teachers have all this pressure because now you have all this standardized testing and they need to show results. So that's what it all comes back. Uh, all becomes about. And so, you know, they have to, um, you know, show results on all these uh, standardized tests. So I'm guessing a lot of it comes from that. But, you know, kids are really burnt out. Um, you know, 12-year-olds shouldn't be burnt out and stressed out. Um, something needs to be done about it. Uh, there's a really good documentary about it. It's called Race to Nowhere. If you have Netflix, it's available. Um, I think it's from 2009. You know, it talks about, you know, how out of hand it's gotten and, you know, some really sad stories there. Check it out if you have a chance. Um, you know, I'm all for giving homework. You know, give kids something to review for tests, you know, questions and that. But keep it reasonable. Kids should have a life outside of school. Um, I think for a high schooler, you know, two hours during the week is reasonable and maybe another two hours on the weekend. Uh, but let them have a life outside of school. Um, administrators, if you hear this, and I think it even goes above that, the people making these uh, decisions, you know, for all these standardized tests and whatnot. Um, you know, I hope somebody gets this message. Uh, this is Crazy Train signing off with another um, Crazy Train rants. Namaste.